Have you ever seen a diamond? Have you ever used a pencil? Have you ever wondered what they are made out of? Although it may seem they are completely different, they are both made out of the same stuff. Carbon. Diamond is known to be one of the strongest minerals in the world. This mineral appears as white or clear crystals. After they are cut and polished, they appear to be very shiny and pretty and have been worn as jewelry for centuries. However, many people don't know that diamonds are also very useful for cutting and grinding tools. <laughs> the tools can cut through almost anything and will not wear down as easily. For example, have you ever seen construction workers use a circular saw to easily cut through a large steel post? The blade on that saw is most likely covered in diamond that makes it possible to cut through large masses of metal like it's butter. What's that, you ask? How are diamonds created? Diamond is formed when carbon molecules are put under a lot of heat and pressure, which forces the carbon atoms to come together and form one giant structure. This is why it's common to find them underground around volcanic pipes where the temperatures are over 3,000 degrees Celsius and 100,000 atmospheres of pressure. Now let's talk about graphite. Similarly to diamond, graphite is a mineral that can naturally be found around volcanoes because they form at very high temperatures. The mineral is soft, has a greasy feel, and is a grayish black color. The most common use of graphite that you might be familiar with is the lead in pencils. Another common use for graphite is in lubricants and machinery due to the fact that it has a greasy, smooth texture. Graphite is also used in fire extinguishers. This is because it is able to withstand very high temperatures. However, if the two forms are both composed of pure carbon, how could they have such different properties? Although graphite and carbon have the same composition, the way that the carbon atoms are arranged are different. In diamond, the carbon atoms are arranged in a tetrahedral structure, meaning that there are four carbon atoms attached to a central carbon with 109.5 degrees between each carbon-carbon bond. This three-dimensional structure accounts for the hardness of the diamond because it consists of an infinite number of carbons that are already densely packed together. Graphite is also composed of an infinite amount of carbon atoms, except its structure is oriented in layers of planar or flat structures of carbon. The flat layers of carbon structures consist of three carbon atoms attached to the central carbon atom. The fourth bond is bound to a carbon atom on a different layer. The bonds between the carbons of different layers are weak compared to the bonds between the carbons in the diamond structure. Now you have learned why diamond and graphite are completely different from each other, even though they are made up of the same thing. These differences in their physical properties, such as color and hardness, and other chemical properties are all due to the different arrangement of carbon atoms. Once again, here is what di the diamond structure looks like. And here is what the structure of graphite looks like. <laughs>